Hey guys, welcome to your energy check-in for Cancer. This is going to be for the first half of your October from the 1st to 15th. Uh, this reading could be about anything, nothing specific. We're just going to see what the cards have to say. Uh, you can apply this to any of your placements. Uh, we're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect for the first half of your month. And then uh, we will take a look and see uh, what the possible outcome and advice are and what else you guys need to know. So um, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up like this video share this video leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, cancer people not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular so if you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situations and your energies i suggest you book a private personal reading with me the link for that is in the description box below all right, so Cancer, let's get started. Tell me about Cancer here. Tell me about Cancer. Over energies for Cancer. What is surrounding Cancer? What does Cancer need to know for um, the first half of their October from the 1st to the 15th? Oh, we got the three, two of wands in the reverse. Right, two of wands in the reverse. It, it seems like what I'm getting here is that you made a decision about something here. Okay, so I feel like you're meeting, you made a decision regarding perhaps your healing here, perhaps your higher calling. Okay, perhaps you're being called by the universe and the divine to do something here. All right. And I feel like you're making a decision surrounding that. Uh, we have the emperor here and the nine of wands. So Aries energy. In the nine of wands with the three of cups and the ace of cups you know i feel like you guys are really t like tired okay i feel like some of you guys might be healing from like a physical trauma that you've been through here like physical like like there could have been bo bodily harm that was done uh, there could have been an accident or something like that. So I feel like some of you guys might be recovering from that, okay? Uh, with that Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups, this is an indication that you guys might go, might be going after dating and meeting new people and trying to find new love here too. The Two of Wands in the reverse. We have the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Star, and the Lovers here, okay? The universe has something in store for you here, okay? And I feel like the universe might have new love in store for you, all right? Uh, could be another Cancer, okay? Or Scorpio or a Gem uh, Gemini, Pisces, Aries here, Aquarius. You might even have those energies in your chart too, Cancer. The Emperor, we have the Ten of Pentacles, wow. The Nine of Wands here and the Two of Swords. You know, uh, I, I feel like there's a, a, you know, I feel like there's abundance in your life. I feel like, you're, you know, regarding your life, your career, your money here, I feel like it's great. Okay. It just seems like there's something missing here. I feel like you guys are ready for a family. You guys are ready for love. Okay. And I feel like that's coming towards you. Uh, with the two of swords and the nine of wands here, this could be an indication that, you know, some of you guys might be trying to block your pain, like your, your traumas here. Your emotional pain okay uh, the hurt that you've been through you could be blocking that yeah or that you're trying to avoid it with the seven of swords here you know it seems like you're trying to avoid your traumas and your pain here just keep them just keep that in mind like you can't you know when it comes to that you know can't really push that away or 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 avoid it it's always gonna catch up to you you know cancer three of cups we have a chariot, cancer energy, ace of cups, and the four of pentacles here. It seems like there's a lot of decisions being made here for you. There is the energy of moving forward, you know, moving to towards your 
healing here, you know, accepting what the universe is providing you at this point, okay? When it comes to new love, you know, I feel like you're not going to give to this really quickly, okay? I just feel like you're, you could be in this energy of like really keeping to yourself and not sharing a whole lot, yeah? So I, I just feel like there's a lot going on here for you, Cancer. But I feel like you're making decisions for yourself here, okay? Uh, you know, I feel like perhaps, you know, at one point you could have been incredibly indecisive here, but I feel like, you know, you're really decisive about the decisions that you're making for yourself, okay? And, you know, I feel like you're allowing the universe to support you at this moment regarding, you know, what's coming towards you next. Um, what else do we have here? Outcome and advice here for Cancer regarding their situation. What else does Cancer need to know? What does Cancer need to look out for or work on for October, for the first half of their October? We have the Page of Wands in the Strength card, Leo energy. We have the Five of Wands in the reverse and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Seems like you're letting go of a bunch of people here too that causes drama in your life. And the Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Okay, someone here might be coming back with an apology. Someone here might be gaining the courage to come back with an apology for basically overwhelming you with a lot of conflict here. It seems like there is new love coming in for you. Okay, it seems like there might be an old love coming back that's trying to apologize, okay? Page of Wands and the Strength card. Aries, Leo, Sag, Leo energy with the Strength card. Five of Wands in the reverse and the Ten of Wands. Page of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo with the Page of Pentacles. Seems like there was an ending here where someone here is coming back to apologize. Not quite sure what this person did, but could be a situation that there could have been like a, like, um, you know, a maturity level difference. You guys were on different wavelengths, vibration, consciousness here. Someone here could have acted, um, you know, selfishly where, you know, this person had really poor self-control. But moving forward, I feel like there are opportunities coming towards you too. You know, there could be a new job opportunity, something that you might be really passionate in. This is so interesting. Um, so I feel like for some of you guys, you know, this is for some of you guys, this might be really specific. Maybe some of you guys might have a business where it's regarding like sex toys or something like that, or maybe toys. Okay. The Page of Wands, Queen of Wands, Strength in the ace of swords okay i feel like someone here is trying to gain the courage to come back to come back and talk to you or something like that provide you with some sort of clarity in regard to some sort of hurt that you've been through with this person okay could be a strong fire sign here uh the five of wands in the reverse and the five of cups the ten of wands here and the four of swords we have someone here that is really sorry for what they did here okay the thing is I feel, I feel like you're not really paying attention to this individual here. Yeah, you're so sort of like, you played so far ahead that, you know, Cancer, there's no looking back for you. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. You know, the Death card, Ten of Swords in the Tower. Yeah. Someone here is really sorry for blowing up your world or blowing up this relationship. So this person might be coming back changed, different. This person might be correcting a wrong here. Yeah, this person's definitely hurting too because I feel like they can't release you. They see you as their wish fulfillment and their happiness here. Okay, this person has fears about losing you here or is heartbroken of, about how they treated you. Um, you know, when they do these energy check-ins, I try to steer clear of the love stuff, but if it comes up that, that way, I have to read it that way. So uh, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.